Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is March 23rd, 2016. Our discussion is going to be on brightness, found ten times in ten Bible verses. In 2 Samuel 22:13, the earth was radiant with his brightness. In Job 37, 21 and 22, for as we cannot look at the sun, for its brightness when the winds have cleared away the clouds, neither can we gaze at the terrible majesty breaking forth upon us from heaven, clothed in dazzling splendor. In Isaiah twenty four twenty three, Then the Lord of heaven's armies will mount his throne in Zion, and he and rule gloriously in Jerusalem in the sight of all the elders of his people. Such glory there will be that all the brightness of the sun and moon will seem to fade away. Ezekiel 10.4 Then the glory of the Lord rose from above the guardian angels and went over to the door of the temple. The temple was filled with the cloud of glory, and the court of the temple was filled with the brightness of the glory of the Lord. In Luke 9.32, Peter and the others had been very drowsy and had fallen asleep. Now they woke up and saw Jesus covered with brightness and glory, and the two men surrounding and standing with him. In 2 Corinthians 3, 7, Yet that old system of law that led to death began with such glory that people could not bear to look at the face of Moses, for as he gave them God's law to obey, his face shone out with the very glory of God, though the brightness was already fading away. 2 Corinthians 4 through 6. For God, who said, Let there be light in the darkness, has made us understand that it is the brightness of his glory that is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. As we know, the earth is lit up by the brightness of God. Because Moses was able to see the backside of God, his face was bright, and the people couldn't look at it. God's glory did fill the temple of the Israelites. The face of Jesus was and has a special brightness in our lives. It shows his glory with God the Father. During the transfiguration, the glory of Jesus showed as brightness. It was a great light and brightness that changed Saul on that Damascus road. I want you to think about this brightness and have Jesus be that brightness in your life today. Thank you and God bless.